Please be seated. Members of the faculty, distinguished trustees and guests, honored graduates, parents, spouses, family and friends, welcome. Welcome to the 173rd commencement ceremony honoring the graduating class of 2022 of Baldwin Wallace University. My name is Steve Stahl, and it is my privilege to serve the university as provost and as master of ceremonies for this event. Before we begin the ceremony, there are a few announcements and acknowledgments I would like to make. First, if anyone needs medical assistance during the ceremony, health, service, health services is set up to my left at the Red Cross sign right there. The invocation will be offered by Reverend C.J. Harkness, Director of Spiritual Life. This will be followed by the national anthem. Afterwards, President Helmer will make welcoming remarks. Please rise if you are able, and please remove your caps if appropriate for the prayer and the anthem. Please join me first in silence and then in the spirit of prayer. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. We thank you today for this gathering. And as we come together to celebrate a commencement, a new day, a next chapter, we pause to reflect and thank you for all of the things that you've brought all of us through to get to this moment. We thank you for every struggle, every trial, for they allowed us to understand that we can persevere. We thank you for every interaction with someone else who we didn't know before because it allowed us to understand ourselves as more human. We thank you for the times that we found out that there were things beyond what we already knew so we could understand the wonders of your wisdom. And now we ask that you consecrate this moment for us that it be a time of joy, that it be a time of celebration, that it be a time that we honor the hard work of the students, faculty, and staff of our beloved Baldwin-Wallace University. Amen.
Well, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Baldwin Wallace University, I want to welcome everyone here this afternoon as we gather to celebrate these great, extraordinary graduates in front of us. Graduates, you did it. You did it. Commitment, hard work, perseverance, you're earning your degrees today, and we are so proud of you. But I bet you would agree with me that probably most of you, if not all of you, didn't get to today without a lot of support. And so as I look in the audience, there must be some moms and dads, some parents out here that uh, supported you, perhaps financially, emotionally, that they, they were there for you. So how about moms, dads, parents, stand up. Give us a chance to say thank you. How about husbands, wives, partners, fiancés? Where are you? Stand up. Uh, we're on a roll here. Grandparents, siblings, neighbors, co-workers. I knew you didn't do it all on your own, but you worked hard. You worked hard, and through every step of it, you were joined by the incredible faculty of BW. Faculty are sitting on either side of our graduates today. Could you stand up so that we can all thank you for what you do? We're also joined today by three members of our Board of Trustees. We have Chuck and Deborah and Dave. Could the three of you stand up so that we can thank you for your governance of our university? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, where are the alumni? If you are an alumnus of BW, stand up so I can say welcome home. Welcome home. Something unusual this year is that a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to present a degree to a veteran, a, a member of our US Armed Forces, Darnell Worley. And the thing about Darnell is, he came to BW at the age of 76. And he completed his degree at the age of 80. Darnell did not feel comfortable coming to our ceremony today, but Darnell is on my mind because he, he's part of you, part of our graduating class, but I'm sure we're also joined today by several members of our military. Could you please stand so that we can thank you for your service to our country? And now to our graduates. We're here for you. BW has been here for you since the day you got here. Some of you have been here with us for a while through the pandemic, through those, those crazy days, and, and we've made it to the other side. Some of you have only been with us for a year. But whether you've been with us, no matter how length of time, we are so proud of you, as is everyone in the gymnasium today. So graduates, could you stand up so that we can congratulate you right now? I love the energy today. Here at, here at BW, we like commencements to be fun. We, we like them to be energetic. So, so much to celebrate. One thing we do at commencement is we invite someone to come and give an address. And so today, we're very pleased and honored to have with us our speaker, Dr. Jody Berg. Jody is the recently retired CEO of Vitamix. 
I think everybody probably knows Vitamix. You put an apple in it and it turns into liquid. You put a tire in it and it turns into liquid. No matter what you put in a Vitamix, it comes out in a puree form, which I'm sure is very healthy for you. Jody is the recently retired CEO. That is not in the script. I should just say that up front. <laughs> recently retired CEO of Vitamix and has been called a visionary leader and a catalyst who, cult of, who catapulted her business to iconic status and created a purpose-driven culture that earned her acclaim. Jody's strong leadership established Vitamix as a world leader in the industry with a brand reach of more than 140 countries. Her holistic approach to management fosters a work culture that is authentic, transformative, and values-driven. Her dedication to helping others lead their own best lives and discovering their own purpose, similar to BW, has led to numerous recognitions, speaking engagements, publications, and awards. Jody is a passionate advocate for Northeast Ohio and has served on the board of directors for both Team NEO and the Greater Cleveland Partnership. She earned her doctorate in management from Case Western Reserve University's Weatherhead School of Management, her MBA from Washington State University, and her bachelor's degree from Bowling Green State University. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jody Berg. Good afternoon, and a good afternoon it is. Thank you, Dr. Helmer, for that very wonderful introduction. Thank you also to the Board of Trustees for asking me to share a special few moments with this esteemed group of students as you, each of you, embark on a whole new part of your journey. This auditorium, it is so full of emotion. I feel happiness, I sense pride, a little anxiety, and a huge sense of relief. And that's just coming from your parents. <laughs> Seriously, the energy field of sheer happiness, pride, and excitement, it, it's emanating from all of you, as it should be. Now, I remember, I remember getting my undergraduate and feeling that same degree of excitement as I set out, I, I was going to conquer the world. Although optimistic, I also felt a bit insecure. This tempered my uh, excitement very naturally. And in hindsight, I clearly overcame that, just in case you were wondering about yourselves. I've achieved many things, as you heard, including the serving as the president and CEO of Vitamix. I had the amazing opportunity to create a globally recognized iconic brand. And of course, of course I'm proud of all these accomplishments, but it might surprise you that I am even more proud of being the mom of two beautiful, strong, wise, and passionate daughters. I used to tell them when they were younger, as they would get off the bus to go to school or go to an activity, I'd say, sweetheart, make yourself proud. Now, of course, I said that because I was already proud, and nothing was going to take that away. But I also said it because it feels so amazing, yes, to have others proud of you, but we alone, we can control how proud we are of ourselves. No one, no one can take that away from us. I live the mantra of making myself proud each and every day, and I have. I have made myself proud but possibly not in the way that you think. I tell you this to help you realize something that I didn't know until much later in my life. I'm proud not just of what I did, proud not just of achieving titles and awards and recognition. Yes, they brought me happiness, that's true. But I'm proud about how I did it. Most proud about how I did it. And this type of pride creates an enduring sense of joy. And that's what I want to talk about for a few moments today is that joy. Many people use the words happiness and joy interchangeably, yet I have found them to be remarkably different. <coughs> happiness is when you, you're overcome with elation, euphoria. Oh, oh, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling to be happy. But when that moment passes, the feeling evaporates with it similar to a match. The flame can be bright, but it's very fleeting. Part of the reason for this 
is because happiness is often externally triggered. And it requires another event or moment, in this case another match, in order to get that feeling back, in order to recreate it. Joy, joy on the other hand, joy is a feeling of blessed. A delight that starts, oh, it starts way down deep in your soul and it, it comes up through your heart. Joy is that feeling that you have when a moment does not just make you smile, but it warms you from the inside out. It lingers, it stays, it settles, it embeds itself into you enduringly. Joy, joy is more like an oil lamp. It burns bright and creates warmth for a very long time. I want to share with you how, share with you today how to develop an enduring type of joy in yourself. It's only three letters. The J in joy stands for journey. The, uh, the O stands for own it. And the Y, the Y is yearning for a higher purpose that guides your journey. Three simple steps in developing for yourself lifelong joy. So let's talk about the J, the journey. It's your journey. You are you because of everything that you've been through. Everything, the good, the bad, and yes, the ugly. It's all part of who you are. It makes you unique. It's your journey. Do you realize there are eight billion people on this planet and not a single one of them will share or have the same journey that you have. Keep it that way. Don't try to be someone you admire for their money, fame, body, maybe their status, career, or even because they've had an impact on this world. Embrace who you are. You are uniquely you. It's your journey. You may have heard that there's two guarantees in life, death and taxes. I'm here to tell you there's a third. Life is hard. And I look out to all of the ones in the stand. We know this. Life is hard. You will stumble on ruts of relationships. You'll climb over fallen trees of career setbacks. You will exhaust yourself ascending mountains of injuries and loss. I promise you, it's not going to be easy. But I also promise you that you have two choices. You can either let these challenges beat you down, or they can create resilience and strength. I chose strength. My life hasn't always been easy. I lived with a chronic disease since I was 10. Some days I was in so much pain, I couldn't stand up straight. But I didn't want anyone to know, so I stood up anyways. I could barely Oh, two illnesses twice have brought me face to face with death. One of them, because I couldn't afford the medical bills, stripped me down to nothing in my mid-twenties. I hadn't a penny to my name. I've, been, I've lost people I love, and yes, I have been fired. All of these challenges, they've been tough, I suffered, but I also recognize that they've been instrumental and foundational in creating the perfectly imperfect, joyous powerhouse that stands before you today. The J, the J stands for journey. Accept it, love it, and own it. And the O, the O in joy, that stands for own it. Own it. We get one life, and it is 100% ours. Other people may have made decisions for you up to this point. From this day forward, those decisions are yours. And you have complete responsibility for your actions. And think about it, we make hundreds of decisions a day, starting with whether or not to get out of bed. That's your choice. They're your decisions to make. Own it. Figure out and decide who you want to be. If you're not sure yet, Try this. Envision yourself 30 years from now attending the release of a documentary 
a documentary film made about your life. What does that documentary reveal about who you are as a person? How do others describe you? Your parents? Your friends? Your coworkers? How about the people in your communities? This documentary flash forward, it gives you a sense of the person that you are. It will help you recognize your current identity. Is that the one you want? You get to choose. You get to choose to be someone that you are proud of. Someone who brings and creates joy. And I guarantee you, if you are proud of who you are, every person in these stands who's here to support you will be proud of you as well. Be that person every day. Be that person starting today. Envision it, own it, and be it. You have one life journey. The O stands for own it. Then the Y. The Y in joy. This hands down is my favorite. The Y stands for yearn for a higher purpose that has meaning. Meaning and brings meaning to every single day of your life. Don't let a day go by that you aren't filled with purpose and meaning. So yearn for that purpose. To yearn, to yearn is to crave something with incredible intensity, a deep burning passion, something you want so bad that nothing, nothing is gonna stop you from getting it. Yearn for that purpose. In the documentary you'll watch a few decades from now, what do you want to be remembered for? People aren't gonna remember your career progression. They're not going to remember the cars you owned or the houses that you bought. They're not going to remember. They're not going to remember the things that you've accumulated. Rather, they will remember the impact that you had on them and on others. What do you want to be remembered for? Will you give people comfort, confidence, courage? Will you give people wisdom, opportunities, strength? This is your higher purpose. Yearn for this every day and you will find as you look back a couple decades from now that you actually did make the world a better place. That is joy. My purpose, my purpose in life is to help people find their wings and fly. This purpose drove the decisions I made in every career opportunity I had and every life role I filled. As a leader, I would help people find their wings, I would help them find the wind, and I would give them a chance to soar. At scale, this purpose has helped and continues to help organizations grow to be great. An employee on our assembly line once told me that she likely built the very Vitamix machine that transformed a girl's life, making it possible for her to eat whole foods through her feeding tube. From then on, that employee felt she could live her purpose of improving lives, not just at home, but in her job. She was assembling Vitamix machines with pride. Another employee once told me she had broken multiple generations of familial poverty by having the income and the confidence to purchase her family's very first home ever. Her purpose became to help other people rise above. Your purpose most certainly will differ from theirs and mine, but I guarantee you living with purpose will give you the same joy that it has given me. What's my point with joy? It's this, J-O-Y. You're on a journey, own it, and yearn for purpose always. Go forth, live with joy, grow with joy, love with joy, transform this world with joy. You got this. Congratulations again, and thank you. Jody, thank you for sharing with us words of wisdom. Joy is something we must all, all seek in our lives. And uh, that was great. That was great. Thank you. Traditions at Baldwin Wallace University include the conferral of an honorary degree 
upon our distinguished speaker. These degrees are bestowed upon individuals who, through their personal and professional lives, provide examples of the qualities this institution, BW, prizes. Qualities that we would like all of our students to aspire to in their own lives. It's our privilege today to confer an honorary doctoral degree on Jody Berg. At this time, I would invite Dr. Colleen Assad to present our candidate. Mr. President, it is my honor to present Jody Berg as a candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Her commitment and success in establishing an authentic, transformative, and values-driven business and culture is a model for all organizations. Her published work and continuous advocacy elevate all organizations and have been recognized with her selection for the Northeast Ohio Business Hall of Fame. Her passion for a rewarding holistic career is a model for all BW graduates and this university. We share with her a common mission to help others lead their own best lives and discover their purpose. Because of her strong leadership and contribution to the betterment of people, I present Jody L. Berg. Jody, we are proud to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. We present you with this diploma as a certificate of this honor emblematic of your degree. Congratulations, Jody. Class of 2022, from the moment you step foot on campus as freshmen to the steps you take today toward this stage, each of you has forged a unique path. A path that at times needed the support from faculty mentors or devoted staff and at times challenged you as it challenged us all to unleash your greater potential. You join the tens of thousands of BW alumni who forged their own paths right here and are symbolized by this ring of ribbons. Since the tradition began in 1915, each class added ribbons to represent their class colors to this never-ending ring. The class of 2022 is the 107th graduating class to add ribbons to this ring. As your paths spread out from this place and take you to all corners of the world, know that your mark has been made on the story of Baldwin Wallace. I now recognize Madison Han Hancock, president of the senior class, to come forward with a message for our graduates. Madison. Congratulations to you all. This ring as a reminder of our place on the ongoing heritage of Baldwin Wallace University. The tradition of this ring was began by the graduates of 1915, and it holds the colors of each graduating class of Baldwin Wallace seniors since that year. You place coral color ribbons at convocation as you began your journey at BW, and now you add your turquoise ribbons at commencement. Remember that we are all part of the never-ending tradition of BW. I charge you to uphold the honor and tradition which it represents as you consider, continue to pursue excellence in your careers and lives as proud new alumni of Baldwin Wallace. Congratulations again, and one last time, join me in all jackets cheer. All jackets!
Let me direct these remarks to the graduate students who are seated in the front of the student section. Congratulations. You have earned your master's degree in business administration, education, medical science, public health, or science. Your commitment to lifelong learning is important and will continue, and today provides a key professional credential that will continue to advance your careers and provides an excellent example for the students seated behind you. Will our graduate students please rise and be recognized. You've worked hard to get here, and we are pleased to greet you and congratulate you on your accomplishment. I will now recognize those undergraduate students who have earned academic honors in their undergraduate record. Summa cum laude, with highest honors, is used to designate graduates who have earned a 3.90 or better through their academic career. There are 14 summa cum laude graduates. Will those persons please stand and be recognized at this time? Twelve persons have earned the designation of magna cum laude with high honors, indicative of a 3.75 average or better. Will those students please stand and be recognized? And 20 persons have earned the designation of cum laude with honors, having a 3.60 average or better. Will those persons please stand and be recognized? <laughs> the Dayton C. Miller Honor Society was established at Baldwin Wallace to recognize those students who have consistently maintained superior academic achievement. There are 17 in this graduating class. Will the members of the Dayton C. Miller Honor Society please stand so that we can recognize you. Congratulations. The Honors Program challenges students to complete an enhanced curriculum in the liberal arts and provides numerous growth opportunities related to research, service, and leadership development. Will the students graduating from the honors program please stand so we can recognize you. <laughs> President Helmer and Mr. Rotuno, as we turn to the conferral of degrees, I am now pleased to report that this faculty have certified that the candidates whose names you will hear have met the university requirements for participation in this commencement ceremony. These students are candidates for the degrees of Master of Accountancy, Master of Business Administration, Master of Arts in Education, Master of Public Health, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Education, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Music Education. I have the honor to present these candidates to you. President Helmer, by the virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees of Baldwin Wallace University, I authorize you on behalf of the board to confer to each of these candidates the degree earned as certified by the faculty and the provost of the university. I extend congratulations from the board to these graduates who will join the ranks of our alumni family at Baldwin Wallace University. With this degree comes great responsibility and the expectation that you will do incredible things in your professional careers, personal lives, and contribute in many ways to help build a just and vibrant society. I wish you all the best as you continue your journey.
Will all the candidates for graduation please rise? Upon the recommendation of the provost of the university, the certification of the faculty, and the approval of the board of trustees, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by our board of trustees and the state of Ohio, it is my pleasure to confer your degrees with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. I would now invite the undergraduate graduates to move your tassels from the right side to the left side as emblematic of your graduation. I now invite our graduates to come forward to receive your diploma cover. You may be seated. From the Carmel Boyer School of Business, Master of Accountancy, Catherine M. Bunch. <laughs> Master of Business Administration, Ashley N. Ackerman. <laughs> Joshua Michael Bell. <laughs> Kristen L. Brewer. Ryan Scott Collins. Anastasia Sukel. Joseph Patrick Divers. Stephanie Ann Marie Evers. Nicholas J. Faust. Charlvon. Charlvon L. Gaston. <laughs> Amelia Rose Gofrido. Amanda Marie Grega. Connor M. Harta. Rosie Jovic. Nicholas James Carl. Nicole Allison Means. Omar David Meza. Stephen Gabriel Schuster. George Elias Saman. <laughs> Justin Underman. Christine R. Van Kucha. In the College of Education and Health Sciences, earning Master of Arts in Education, 
Elizabeth Ruth Boyer. John W. Bramley. Sherry Nicole Bykoski. Kadia Da Silva. Jaqueta Duncan Fields. Taylor Elizabeth Ernsthausen. Jennifer Lynn Gooch. Juliana Marie Gorris. Joshua Bruce Haynes. Alyssa Herbel Janasek. Marisika Ankyu. Amelia Pomalas, Jasmine Rang, Carolyn Jean Tobaya, earning a Master of Public Health, Libby Aaron Pelaya, earning the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ruth Algiboya, <laughs> Jacob Alman, Daniel Marie Barsa, <laughs> Ashley Burning, <laughs> Amy M. Bonsteel. Samantha Taylor Erlenbeck. Deshauna J. Fisher. Hannah May Gertz. Bailey C. Gould. Sydney H. Granerman. Adam Dominic Adamillo. Van Mi Lau. Shannon Ray Oberst. Madeline Bridget Riley. Bailey Silvagio Beck. Ashley Marie Smith. Timothy James Tibbetts. Brandon Michael Velasquez. In the College of Arts and Sciences, earning the Bachelor of Arts, Skylar Danielle Barish. Michael David Carswell. William McRae Corcoran. Elizabeth Elaine Gifford. Davion Terrell Harris. Dylan Anthony Kaling. Cole A. Lopez. Shazeb Ahmad Malik. Sierra Lynn Mason. Olivia Diane Naimney. Gianna Marie Okiboive. Aviana Priscilla Parton. Morgan Tara Pulling. Andrew Joseph Repezi. 
William C. Rowley. Stephen Sandum. Lucas Edward Schrodel. Grace Anna Silvestro. Frank Allen Sukup. Kine William Speaker. Jordan Antoinette Torber. Gavin McGuire Tyna. Adriana Monique Young. Earning the Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theasia Monet. Earning the Bachelor of Science, William Lee Bradley III. London Lamont Brock. Paul Michael Brown. Ashley Brianne Cox. Alton Kurt Dinchman. Alexis Lynn Fall. Morgan B. Gottwald. Natalie Carmen Hanachek. Christina Hanchuk. Ivy Lynn Hughes. Janie McKenna Calavetsi. Anthony C. Maladei. Robert Nelson Rose. Charity Shinoa Rosenjack. Kaylee Marie Simmons. Lauren J. Smith. Rebecca K. Twing. Dennis Joseph Ulichny. Joshua Ryan Vakarchuk. Justin Henry Wolf. Kayla Miriam Zlotnik. Zanza. Abigail M. Zanza. For the Carmel School, Boyer School of Business, earning the Bachelor of Arts, Balkis Al Shafi. <laughs> Eric Bradley Bechtel. <laughs> Caroline O. Binkley. <laughs> Abigail Hope Casey. <laughs> Aaron Andrew Kahn. Jessica Marie Crozer. Kyra Daniel. Adelaide Yiding Deng. Dion Elijah Farmer. Quentin Andrew Farron. Kathleen Miller Fink. Natalie Claire Frile. Brandon Thomas Garabati. Linda Gonzalez Nunez. Kinsley F. Harbert. Jake Edward Hyduk.
Amir Jaber. Alexander Vincent Karapanzik. Anthony Davon Craig Kendall. Mara Elizabeth Kinsey. Alexander Michael Krinoff. Jack W. Laney. Cecilia Maria Leone. Megan E. Loshur. Desmond K. Lowry. Tyler Marzenski. Claudia Lissette Maley. Brandon Moore. David Lee Norris. Jacob Novak. Julia Pardum. Matthew James Phillips. Lindy Rachel Popovich. Nagisa Sky Reed. Lindsay Nicole Wrights. Anthony David Ritson. Emily Lauren Robb. Madeline Marie Rostreval. Anthony Alexander Sams. Kenya Marie Santiago. Tyler Jeffrey Saddam. Robert Leonard Sotak. Nicholas Houston Surowitz. Jaden K. Thornburg. Elizabeth A. Truax. Jacob Allen Vadini. Philip Voita. Reed Jacob Watkins. Austin Deontay Watkins. You gotta follow that. Yeah, I know. Armand Kendrick Witt. In the College of Education and Health Sciences, earning a Bachelor of Science, Taylor Nicole Beredich. Marissa M. Evans. Brandy Ireland Filthy. Sophia Catherine Henshaw. Briella Carol Kent. Jensen Elizabeth Kurtzman. Annalise Marie Laughlin. Carly Ray Ludwig. Dominic Michael Monaco. 
Najina Zar Alam. Earning the degree Bachelor of Science in Education, Mackenzie M. Bitts. Emily Marie Forster. Madison Jean Hancock. Marissa C. Reed. Matthew David Reed. Demetra K. Savastos. Megan Elizabeth Smith. In the Conservatory of Music, earning a Bachelor of Arts, Vitor Guerrero Jorge. Max Christopher Little. Earning the degree Bachelor of Music. Renee Elizabeth Danko. Earning a degree Bachelor of Music Education, Abigail Marie Bilson. Margaret Amelia George. Austin, where are you? <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Any other dance moves? You feeling good? Jody, I think Austin found joy. <laughs> I, I think he's got it for us. He's got it. Yeah. Yeah. How about a round of applause for all of our graduates? Graduates, your time at BW has come to an end, and we want to thank you for choosing this university for your studies, for choosing this university to share yourselves with, because you have had an impact on us. And our hope and, and really our expectation is that you will go out and do extraordinary things. And, and when I think extraordinary, you know, some BW alumni have been space shuttle commanders, Broadway stars, Olympic gold medalists, but most of our alumni are grade school teachers and business people and nurses and social workers. Not maybe the fancy title of a space shuttle commander, but it, it's, as Jody said, it's how they've done their work. They've been extraordinary. And so as you leave BW, our hope and our expectation is that you will be extraordinary that being a part of us has changed you, um, and that you will always remember this is your alma mater, and you will always be a part of BW. Our ceremony is going to conclude with our benediction, followed by the singing of the BW alma mater. And so please rise. Oh Lord our God, we again come to you in this time of celebration. We thank you for the joy in this room and we would that you would remind us beyond this day as we go forward to choose joy in every way. Let us joyfully pursue the next chapters in our lives. Let us joyfully serve families and community. Even with joy, allow us to provide the sacrifices necessary to make the world a just place for all. Let us choose joy in the execution with excellence. Let us choose joy as we inspire others to also reach their grandest potential. In this moment and in this time, we say thank you, we lift you up, and we say amen, amen, amen.